Hello and welcome back to this channel, I guess. It's been a while. I hope you guys are good. Um, if you're new here, I'm Steph, I'm the Average Artist, and today we are reviewing Ohuhu refills. Thank you to Ohuhu for sponsoring this video and sending me these refills. I'm really excited to try them. You guys can get each of these refills for $4.99 per refill, so it's a pretty good deal. I will link their website down below so you can check them out for yourself. Thanks again to Ohuhu for sponsoring me and this video. A while ago, Ohuhu, Ohuhu, <coughs> sorry, sent me this pack of alcohol markers and I was like heck yeah because I love alcohol markers some eagle-eyed people among you might notice that there are some gaps that's because I use a hoo hoo uh, pens for my comic that I'm working on right now so I like got these you know on my desk and I've just decided like this color range for everything and these are like probably the ones I use the most and uh, yeah this was relatively a small selection <laughs> and then it just kept growing I probably will dip into these more as I do the comic look at these refill markers oh, hoo -hoo. I can't the name <laughs> uh, oh hoo -hoo. you can't say it seriously you can't it has to be oh, hoo -hoo. Um, sent me all of these refills which is a crazy amount of refills it's not as crazy amount of stuff as all these pens you'll notice because they just sent me the most popular colors which is interesting to see what is considered like the most popular color I guess um, but yeah I'll see if any of these are in my comic selection um, but we're gonna go through these and we're gonna try them out I guess first of all we should just uh, mention the comics that I have made using alcohol markers. Alcohol markers are kind of like, I don't know, I just really enjoy them. I think you can get like a lot of control of them. But also I really like the textures that they create. I've made a few comics now using alcohol markers and pencils. I like to uh, use alcohol markers and then go in with like a pencil, which you guys probably know is a paper castell, polychromos, black and uh, some others sometimes. If you've watched this channel for a while, you know that already, but if you're new here, hey, I like to use black pencil on top. Um, this was my first comic I made, Emily is Burning, and I used all alcohol markers and pencils as well. So that brings me to my latest working in, work in progress, which is called Picture This, and uh, I've got my little thumbnails are here and I scratch out the pages that I've done and here is one of the pages a little preview for you so I've been using alcohol markers but what I do is I like to draw the pencils on the back and then use alcohol markers and I really like the texture that alcohol markers uh, put through the page I don't know if you can see that but it's like it's just something I really enjoy and I've been leaning more into just letting the textures come through and using like less line maybe here is some old uh pages from the past comics that i just showed you so this one is this one is pushing on a star and uh, this one comes from slow and all at once disappearance of olivia, olivia newbury and they're very different uh pieces but they're just kind of like short horror comics uh like short stories which I apparently love doing now because I'm working on another short horror story which is this one and it's going well I'm really excited because uh, I hit 500 sales on Etsy and like you can buy these comics on Etsy but it's like what like just from something I've created I've managed to sell so it's just I if you told past me that okay you could actually sell your comics I wouldn't believe you honestly I would be like no I don't think so I think I'm just I'm just doing it for fun like you know so it's really great but first the reason you guys are actually here the refills and let's see um okay I guess I guess I'll open every single package might be here a while instructions Where's my box cutter? Easier. I'm using my bare finger, bare fingers. <laughs> uh, 
unless I hit pen. There we go. Oh god. Ooh, it's quite sturdy. Don't know why that shocked me. <laughs> it's quite a sturdy refill you got there. Just anxious of like cutting into the pen. This one is, so it just tells you on the top number and it's got like quite a nice little texture here. Yeah, I kind of like that. And we're done. Look at all these colors. I don't know why, but something really satisfying about seeing the ink through this see-through part of the uh, refill. I think it looks really cute. I'm like, give me, it looks like, okay, it looks like those ice pops. Do anyone have those like ice pops so you, before you put them in the uh, freezer? Don't eat these, obviously. <laughs> why do I always compare art supplies to food? I think. I think I got a problem, guys. Yeah, these are all the refills um, that came, and apparently these are the most popular colors. So we're going to test them out. I'm not seeing any pinks, yellows. Oh no, there is some pinks. There's a powder pink and a fruit pink. But I'm not seeing any like bright yellows or greens or yeah mostly blues and oh it looks very like cool colors at the moment except for that bright red but let's test it out first of all what i want to do because these are kind of colors that i don't really use that often that i want to waste some and then i want to see how it refills so we're going to go through and color this paper and uh, then I'll refill it just for the reasons of science and how to because I think most of these pens are I don't think any of them are refills for the ones that I kind of use mostly on my comics at the moment um, so we're just gonna try it out because I want to test how good these work You know, as I'm doing this, I'm realizing that this is definitely one that I use in my comics because it's already kind of running out. Ah, uh, so there we go, we have our first test subject for free. So apparently it's relatively simple. You just take this off, which feels very unnatural. With a, oh, you could turn these around. I never noticed that. If you wanted to, if you damaged that end of the nib. And then you take this off Ah, it's quite scary. I don't know why. <clears throat> and then you just simply pop it in. Okay, add one drop at a time, it says. So, one, two, three. Okay, I think we'll test that now. I've used quite a bit of it, I guess. Probably about a milliliter of it, maybe. Let's put this back on. Should have done it with the other side because I never really use the other side, the chisel side. So I'm going to do that next. Much better. Very nice. None of this faded rubbish. Straight action. So as well, like that was only a little bit. This will probably last me quite a long time now, which is kind of cool. I'm going to be using this for all my skies in my comics. Like, let's try another one. Okay, for science, I really like these orange ones that look orange but apparently are pink. Let's see what the color is. Oh, it's kind of like a bright peach, which is kind of an, you know, it's like a nice color actually. What I love to do with alcohol markers is just like put them on top of each other and then I really like the way that it comes through the paper. Like I said with my comics that I, you know, I color them on the back and then I take them and uh, see them on the front, I reverse them. Cause I really like that stained, I don't know how to explain it. I really like that stained look, the, 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 the textures that you get. Well, obviously this dark blue pen is slightly running out, but I really like the texture it gives. So this is the back of it. Drew the pencils and then colored it in. And yeah, it looks okay. Like the colors look nice, but then if you turn it over, I really 
think there's something cool about the way it just bleeds through the paper like that and uh, yeah the textures it gives and like layering colors and stuff it's not very significant in this one but maybe in the opening shot of the comic you can see here I've done it quite a bit of like layering different colors on top of each other which is very nice to do with alcohol markers so this was like the sketch well not the sketch but the final pencils and then I turn it over and I draw on top with the black pencil this one I still need to do a little bit of work on I want to add some more shadows so sometimes I add shadows on this side with like a light um, violet color or something and yeah well it depends what kind of the scene calls for but that's what I enjoy and I think it really works well this is another page so it's going well the comic obviously and it's even better now that I've got some refills and stuff so I'll really consider using these colors a little bit more like the ones that will obviously fit within the color scheme here but I think I'm doing another comic as well about the haunted water park so to speak and uh, yeah I'll probably look for these colors this one is quite interesting I really want to see what color this one is actually the R8 because it looks like a bright bright red which is a, you know it could be a blood color just for instance if there is blood in the comic might not be might not be guys um, but yeah that could be interesting it does look very like a color uh, of somebody who's doing a horror comic might want to explore using. This is the one we're doing. So I'm gonna waste a little bit of this like I was gonna do before with the blue and then we're gonna see how well it fixes it. So I'm gonna color in like a whole page until or whatever until it starts running out and uh, then we'll see how well it does uh, for science of course. So definitely seeing some ink running out here. Let's get inking back up. I don't know what I was gonna say. Ooh, that one's much easier. So if you do this, do on the chisel, chisel side. Okay, so one, three. I wonder how much a drop is on the paper. I kind of really like the way that it looks like that as well. Might be something to explore in the future. Okay, I am pretty sure that is like quite full now because the other one only took a couple of drops and it was like juicy, so let's put that back in. So this was before and now, ooh, much nicer, very juicy. I'm, I'm super excited about this because it seems like it just takes a couple of drops and then it's ready to be put in, which is super, super nice. Ready to be put in, that doesn't make sense. It's, it's ready to go, it's super juicy again. So this is gonna last me a long time and it's definitely worth it if you use like these pens a lot because it definitely expands the usage of them. So something I forgot to mention as well is that you can refill them without taking the nib out uh, if you just wanna like top up, I guess, a little bit on the color. So you just take it off like this and you put a drop onto the actual nib and it should like replenish the color quite a bit which is very handy if you just want to do like a quick top up instead of doing like a full like refill of everything so yeah it's it's so nice thank you so much to ohuhu markers again for sending me these markers and also the refills i just think they're so nice and they're super juicy and i'm really happy with them and also if you guys are interested i'm gonna do a vlog this week about my comic making process over the last month and how that's been going so stick around and subscribe if you want to see that video but yeah i'm gonna talk more about the comic process in that one but so far these ones seem like a pretty good deal 4 99 for this refill and it will probably last you a really long time so thank you for watching and i will see you next time bye